Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Volkswagen Tiguan. It could be any year, any generation uh, from year 2007 to year 2022 currently, guys. If you have check engine light on and call P0456, which means small EVAP leak detected. Stay with us, we'll explain simple thing that can cause that. Number one thing that I will always check before I start putting money in this vehicle, guys, because people will spend so much money trying to replace things that are actually functioning correctly when all we have to do is check one simple item. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Volkswagen Tiguan or any car, you want to save quite a bit of money, get a good deal, Check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let's go ahead and open the hood on that Volkswagen Tiguan now. And we explain what we have. That code, you will experience it only on a gasoline powered Volkswagen Tiguan, not diesels. Due to the fact that gasoline engines have the EVAP system. This is the evaporative emission system. Practically, when your fuel moves in the fuel tank or heats up, it will expand, it will create pressure, fuel vapors. Back in the day, they used to be released through the fuel cap all the way in the atmosphere. Now, that's practically illegal. So they invented the EVAP system and when you reach fuel pressure of certain point in the fuel tank, uh, fuel vapor pressure, guys, uh, that line right here will come to the purge valve. The purge valve will open, it will inject the fuel vapors in the intake manifold, burn through the engine and you have efficient engine that's not losing fuel. Uh, it's more economical and you're not polluting the atmosphere. Okay, things like that can, uh, that code can be triggered by multiple things, guys. Broken line, loose line, leaking purge control valve. Okay, that doesn't close. We have a video on the channel, uh, on our main channel, how to repair, guys, how to test purge control valve. Check it out. Uh, but something else that I will always check, I'll come right here and I will inspect the fuel cap. That will be the one thing that I will always check. The fuel cap has two components that can fail. One is it has a fuel. Uh, pressure valve if the evap system quits working and injects the fuel vapors in the engine what will happen uh, if you reach certain amount of fuel pressure in the fuel tank that valve will release the pressure in the atmosphere so practically you don't explode <laughs> uh, but number two you have that seal a crack in the seal guys will be caused okay and will cause check engine light and small evap leak codes such as four or five six defective seal guys or defective valve on the fuel cap that's the number one thing even when you uh, put your cap okay let me show you right here on the cap it says engine light may turn on if you do not install it practically and this is the replacement one we just bought a new one to replace it and that takes care of that problem if you want to see where you can get it from we'll put the link in the description of the video below thank you for watching and see you next time